The MTA has issued a new list of those who will be exempt from paying congestion pricing fees. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer joins us with more. Marsha. Well, they're going to, um, Christine, public workers like police, firefighters, and teachers who drive their own cars to work are not going to be happy with the list of exemptions because they didn't make the grade. But transit officials insist drivers will come to like the new tolling program because it will mean fewer cars on the road. I know it's controversial for some folks, but um, I think this is all about, um, you know, lifting the city and the vast majority of residents that use public transit and that live in congested neighborhoods. MTA President Richard Davey defending the MTA's decision to exempt school buses, some commuter buses, and thousands of vehicles in the city's fleet as the board prepares to approve the fare structure for vehicles entering the congestion zone below 60th Street. Mayor Adams had demanded that the MTA exempt school buses, and the MTA heard his plea. Some 1,200 yellow school bus routes operated by the Department of Education plus buses for some charter and private schools will not have to pay. Others getting a free pass include commuter vans licensed by the Taxi and Limousine Commission and buses providing scheduled commuter service open to the public. Both intercity long-distance buses like Megabus and Greyhound and regional buses like the Hampton Jitney. It's great for west of Hudson riders, people who are coming from Rockland who have limited uh, numbers of options, people who are coming in from New Jersey, people who are traveling interstate, places where trains may not go. Also exempt are about half of the city's fleet of 26,000 vehicles, which MTA officials described as specialized government vehicles, those that are critical to perform public work in the congestion zone. Intentionally left off the free pass list were public employees who drive their private cars to work, like cops, firefighters, and teachers who have gone to court in protest. It will be up to either the courts or our elected leaders to address the fallout, especially the impact on retention and recruitment for the already understaffed NYPD, said Police Benevolent Association President Patrick Hendry. But Rich Davey says the MTA can still change things once the program gets started. It's not like London hasn't made any changes in its, you know, 10-plus year existence. So they'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Obviously, the board will keep an eye on it. But I think it's a huge step forward. Now, the board is expected to vote on Wednesday to approve charging cars $15 during the day. Officials would like to start the program in June, but that will depend on suits in New Jersey and New York. There are hearings in New Jersey on April 3rd and 4th. A hearing in Manhattan federal court is May 17th. Christine, Duke. All right. Well, all the readers are up, so That's they're right. ready to go. <laughs> they are ready and to those go. Those went up quickly. All right, Marsha, thank you.